what's cracking guys welcome back to downfall so an ex again an explosive prologue uh, for us to introduce Joe and Ivy and dead Robbie and cats because you know the cat lady by the same developer yay anyway so yes now it's time to get into a new game uh, I don't know if there's actually an intro sequence but as always I shall shut my mouth, and we'll get into it. Start with subtitles off, start with subtitles on, on, obviously. Well, here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, Welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? Don't ask what that intro was all about, because I have no fucking clue. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, one, one, one little criticism. Uh, the the music at the end, it just straight up cut off. Like fade it out, you know? Could have just faded it out and would have been a lot better. Instead, it just as it was fading out, it then just straight up cut off. So mm, could have done with just fading the whole fading it out continuously instead of straight up cut. Anyway, slight criticism, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, so here we are in the game itself. It's a lot different as well to the, uh, to the uh, yeah, I was, I was going to explain, what I? So in the 2009 version, basically what it is, is you're viewing from up top at an angle. And they're outside, arguing with each other. He's, he's saying... From what I can remember, he's saying that they can't get out of the town, they need to leave, but they can't. And she's claiming that it's raining blood. It is raining, but it's not raining blood. And then she's like, oh, my dress, it's all covered in lovely blood. Uh, maybe I could lay down for a while. And it's like, okay then, strange. And then you get into the, to the lobby. And there's someone arguing with the with the person behind the desk about wanting cigarettes. Because what hotel doesn't sell cigarettes and blah blah blah. And the woman says, Oh well it's 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 policy. We you know we can't sell you cigarettes, it's a policy. And then she goes off and then storms off. And that's about as far as I got. So that's the only sort of real difference that, that I can see between the two thousand nine version 
or the original version, and this version. So, yeah, that's about all I know. Um, how true this is to that version, I don't know. Story-wise or anything, I was kind of worried because from, from what I saw of the original, from the description, it did say there was a lot of blood, gore, sexual nature, and blah, 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 and this, that, and the other. So I, I kind of worried that maybe they watered it down and toned it down a little, but from the little warning, uh, it seemed maybe not. So hopefully, whatever was in the original, how gory and, and, and whatever it was in the original, it's carried over to this one. But we'll see in due course. Ah, right, so apparently she's not talking to him. So you're still not talking to me. Come on, darling, don't do this to me. So, you're still not talking to me? Great. I can't say I'm surprised. This is so very much like you. She does look a little pissed off. Like, <laughs> okay, very pissed off. Uh, what have what I done? What have I done? We were driving, and then you went to sleep for a while, and really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. He also needs to shave his monobrow. Uh, can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? Who? There's nobody here. It's just you. I give up. Let's buck us in. Yeah, there's nobody here. Um, I give just up. Buck yourself in. Let's buck us in. There's got to be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? It's called thunder. It's gonna be huge. Where's she going? Ivy? Yeah, she sorted off on her own. Nobody here. It's hardly surprising this time of the night. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? <sighs> I'm guessing not. Because that's the reception. Telephone. There's nothing unusual about it. I don't know who I could call. The police? Painting. Examine. We had a black cat once. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. Read black. It reads Teacup, the key master. Is that something from the cat lady? It's ringing a bell. But I'm not too sure. It could be. Take free gift. These are fridge magnets advertising Quiet Haven Hotel. I'll take one. Ivy likes collecting them. Oh, I thought the free gift was the towels. Ivy? Where are you going? As if to say, like, you know, we know you're gonna nick them. <laughs> so here, you may as well just fucking have one. So that's what everyone does in hotels, isn't it? <laughs> they nick everything. <laughs> Anything that isn't tied down, they nick it. Soap, uh, shower gel, um, bath towels, bath robes. I mean, they'd take the whole fucking bed if they could. Don't tell me you haven't nabbed something from a hotel. Everybody has. Everybody has taken something. It's like a ritual or something. Uh, did I not turn autosave off? Oh, well, whatever. Devil came through here. So, uh, what? Hey, you got your voice back? Not even rats would come through this place. To a place like this. Uh, yeah. What? What? What is that even supposed to mean? We're not alone, Joe. Well, yeah, this is a hotel. They're watching us. Who? These bad people. They live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. Yay, 
wait, what the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? Mm, no. I'm not batshit crazy. No, I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They... they will. No! Get away from him! I... have gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. You and me both, pal. The big, fat, flesh-eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouths. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. Right. This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor. You're acting like a fucking psycho. Uh, well, if she's acting like a fucking psycho, you don't really want to tell her that she's acting like a fucking psycho. Or she could go fucking psycho on you. So, let's just say we need to get her to a doctor. This is crazy. Oh, don't call her crazy either. We need to get you to a doctor, <laughs> Ivy. I... I really don't know oh, what to shot. do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah. The storm, and that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. Yeah, you losing your goddamn mind for one. <laughs> I'm sorry, funny, I've got to choose that one. Yeah, you losing your goddamn mind for one. Now pull yourself together and follow me. I'm sick and tired of this conversation. Where are you going? I... Uh, whatever. Anything interesting over here? Nope. Kitchen door. It's locked. It's locked. Stalk. Jammed. Stairs. Hello. Oh, Jesus. May I help you? Uh... Yeah, we... Like to get a room. We have a little problem. My wife, she... No, 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 Joe. It, it's none of her business. It's none of her business. We don't need to tell her about that. That she may go fucking psycho at any point. At any time. Don't need to worry about that. Otherwise, you will never get a room. Um, funnily though. Funny how it's the red that's being highlighted here. No other colours. Except for red. Uh, yes, we'd like to get a room. Thank you. We'd like to get a room. I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. On Don't sweet. listen to her. Not end sweet. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. Eh. Uh, Ivy? Where exactly did you do your voice recording? Because it sounds like he was recording in a box room. Like, his, his voice recording sounds fine. As does... Uh, the, the the woman, I don't know what her name is, but hers sounds fine. But Ivy's seems to s sound like it was recorded in like a small room. It it really doesn't match the quality of the other two. But anyway, uh, I'm sorry we had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Please ignore her. We'll take the room. Uh, yeah, just ignore her. She yeah, we'll have the room. Thank you. Please ignore her. We'll take the room. Certainly. Oh, well, but the room... I'm afraid there is one problem. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? Yeah, fine. 
I mean, there's many people that have two, like, single beds and then push them together. Uh, it's fine, I guess. It's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. Can you hear? Her Her voice is, is her voice acting, like, the, the sound and stuff is, is perfectly fine. But Ivy's is a little bit off. I don't know where. I don't know whoever the voice actress was for that. I don't know where she recorded it. But it wasn't in like a sound studio or anything like that. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8am. Please don't be late. I can't place her accent. I thought it was... She sounded a little New Zealand at first. And then a little bit British. I really can't place her accent. Take. Though he's supposed to be American, he looks a little Eastern European, I have to say. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. Okay, would you stop? <laughs> please, when you talk, just stop with the hand movement. <laughs> oh, just, yeah. I'm, I'm not even going to go there, but just please stop with the hand movement when you're talking. <laughs> uh, we're not going to whisper and tiptoe around. If that's what you... Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. We have a room, let's not piss her off. Sure. Whatever. We'll try not to disturb anyone. Good night. Uh, Ivy? Oh, I thought she was about to freaking rip her face off. Great, the list needs to be out of order. Okay, I guess we're taking the stairs. Picture. Oh, an elephant. Cellar door. Can we go in? No, it's locked. What a shame. Eh. Uh, exactly why is there a dresser? Looks like the stairs are blocked with piles of old furniture. Yeah, that's kind of a little odd. The fuck is this place? Ooh. It makes me feel like I'm being watched. Isn't that what Ivy said? Huh. This is a functioning hotel, isn't it? Have we wandered into like a, a murder house or something? Rooms 101 to 104. So apparently we're not supposed to disturb the woman in this room. Door's locked anyway. Oh. A weird ass painting. That's our room. Do not enter. What I want, it's our room. I should unlock it first. Oh, I, I need to get out of this menu. Ivy, do you want... What are we doing? Unlocking her tits? I mean, what's going on? Wow. F five star, this. What is happening to me, Joe? You're going crazy, love. I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. 
Well, there was a period where we weren't together. There was 20 years between us being kids and watching Robbie kill himself. Accidentally. Uh, to when you met again, so... Anything could have happened within that time. You said some really weird things. Maybe you're just tired. I hope you had fun playing psycho bitch in front of that woman. Uh, yeah, you said some rather odd things. You said some really weird things. It's like you completely lost it there, you know? But I'm okay now, am I? How else should I know? You could be on a whole new trip right now, as far as I know. I... I blacked out for a bit, I... I think. And... I was dreaming. There was... There was a woman there, in the mirror. She was so fat and naked and covered in... blood. Yeah, uh, let's go to bed. I'm sure you feel better in the morning. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next, you're someone different. I don't even know. What if that person has always been in me? But you, you didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. You wanna bet. Surely that sort of thing would have come to light... ...many years ago. You know... ...like... ...hints of... ...psychosis? And stuff like that, maybe? What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean, I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine. Let's do this. Where do I start? I've never get... I never get tired of talking to you. When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. You look so cute in my Nirvana t-shirt. I miss you, even after a couple of hours. That's not really... That one's not exactly reason to love someone. Oh, you look cute in a Nirvana t-shirt. Well, you could say that about anyone, really. I never get tired of talking to you. When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. I miss you even after a couple of hours. Uh, let us go with... Hmm, what shall I go with? I don't know if one of these is going to be right. I don't know if one of them is going to be wrong. Let's save just in case. Because we have the ability to do that. Um, hmm. Do you know what? I may go for the first one. Because smiling is... Smiling is something that, you know, it's it's... What you call it? Um, contagious. Like, yeah, when when someone smiles, it, it releases endorphins and it makes you smile and it makes you happy, blah, blah, blah. I miss you even after a couple of hours. That's me. Uh, I never get tired of talking to you. I never get tired of talking to you. Oh, and this. It's the way you look when you sleep. I like holding you in my arms when you're sad. That thing you do... When you laugh, I love it. I can smell the perfume on the pillow. I can smell your perfume on the pillow long after you've gone. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. So you look when you sleep, like I was when you said. I think you need to laugh a little bit. I can smell your perfume on the pillow. Uh. Yeah. Smell your perfume on the pillow. Uh. Yeah. This one. 
because it's 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 closeness, you know. I like holding you in my arms when you're sad. But most of all, I guess, I... We've been through so much together. I can be myself around you. You're just so fucking beautiful. I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. Uh, for me, personally, this one. Like, you know when you've met someone, when you can just be yourself. There's no facade, there's no having to pretend, there's nothing. You can be wacky, you can be stupid, you know, you can be, you can be whatever you want. Like, one of my exes from, God, many years ago now, um, she sort of had the same feeling of, she could be herself around me, you know, she didn't have to pretend to be, she could be goofy, she could be silly, she could be whatever she wanted, because she knew that I was exactly the same, and that was great, and it's a really, really good feeling when you can just be goofy together and, and, and be silly and no you know there's no judgment there it's you know you, you're not gonna have the other half think, thinking what a fucking stupid dumbass blah 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 you are no no grow up blah, you know all this so for me this is one of my main ones just being yourself around someone and having them be themselves around you such a good feeling so good I can be myself around you you never get tired of talking to me because we never talk anymore. We stopped talking a long time ago and you know that. And when was the last time you held me in your arms? Because I can't remember. I'm sure neither can you. And finally, you are wrong thinking you know who you are. Because you're lost, Joe. Just like me. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday, it's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it, so we can both be free. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm guessing then that no matter what option you chose, she would have a rebuttal for it and I come back. Okay. Fine, I'll say it. We're finished. I still love you. <sighs> Isn't it something, though, that he's been there all this time? I mean, I, I don't know what they do, what they don't do anymore. The difference in the relationship between when they first got together to now. But... At least he's stuck around. Isn't it something that at the first signs of of, uh, of the cracks appearing, he hasn't just gone, well, fuck this bitch, I'm off. So, no, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say we're finished. No. Did it be wrong for him to give up on you, especially, especially at this, this time that you're going through? The worst thing you can be is alone. He may he may not be the man that you knew he, that he was before, but at least he's still there, and you need someone there for you. I still love you. No, that's the thing you don't. You have to understand that, Joe. Whatever that was between us, it's gone. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m. Don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. Have you seen this place? I wouldn't want to eat breakfast here either. In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. The building site? My escape. Strip club. My quiet haven. Not a strip club then.
a field with dark clouds. How is this your quiet haven? I don't know. But we will find out next time what it exactly is. Mm. So yeah, so like I said, Ivy is batshit crazy. Uh, there's clearly something wrong psychologically there. But yeah, so she clearly needs help. And she needs someone there for her and with her. No matter how much she thinks that she doesn't need Joe and Joe doesn't love her, he clearly still wants to be there for her. <sighs> I don't know, I'm probably reading way too much into this. <laughs> Just for a fucking game. But whatever, whatever. Oh. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. <sighs> Start again. Anyway, guys, thank you all so very much for watching this episode, and I will see you all next time. And as ever, bye bye.